Hi everyone, um, I'm Jing Moniz and we're here now with Val. Um, so Val, tell me what's your problem with your hair. Pag sa hair ko po, uh, masyadong bagsak. So nahihirapan po ako na style. Kahit po pag dinadamihan ko yung hair product na nilalagay ko. Tumitigas naman po, tas parang ang pangit na style. Another thing po, um, ano po bang differences ng gel wax and pomade po? Actually, totoo yun, when you use too much hair products, tendency niyan is to give more weight to buhok mo. So, lalo bumabaksak. So, importante yung nalalaman mo how much amount of product ang kailangan lang ng buhok mo. Some people kasi, they think putting a lot of hair products makes the hair taste longer. But, not knowing, since your hair texture is must many pieces, what happens is the products putting a lot of weight. So, bumabaksak lalo. Lalo bumibigat. When getting the haircut, as a stylist, I want to make sure that everything is balanced, proportions according to the head shape and the natural grow of the hair. It's also important for the clients to know the hair texture. Some of us, kasi hindi tayo naki, wala tayong pakailama, we just sit down and then gupit lang. Now, I'm analyzing it. Val has very fine hair, flat-headed, two cowlicks on the back. That's where I'm gonna, uh, my style will come from. Are you still in school, Val? Okay, what do you study? RTU. Okay, what's your course? Marketing. On the normal day, do you put hair product? Please style your hair. Uh, pag may lakad lang. Pag may lakad lang. Wash and go. Okay. How do you take care of your hair? After po nang shoot go po sa puro hair, hair product. Po. Yeah. Uh, conditioner po yung ano, pangtanggal ko. Conditioner is good every day. Too much shampoo can dry your hair also. Little that we know, shampoo is also bad for the hair because of the sulfate. The, the contents of the shampoo. If you're not the pers the type naman na you're always outdoor, people who work in the office, I would suggest that probably condition your hair every day and then shampoo at least every other day. Because your hair needs a natural oil eh? and the natural oil is coming from your scalp. So your natural oil mod that actually cures your dry hair. So what I did, I isolated the crown area from the cowlick. So I want to make sure that hindi ko gagalawin yung cowlick niya. I just challenge the hair, the tubo ng buhok niya. Lahat nakatayo. What I'm doing now, it's what's good for his hair. Also on the fashion trends, it's not about what's uso now. Um, for me, it's what's suitable for you. Kung bagay sa yon and your lifestyle yung yung hair trends kaya then good. But you're the type na hindi ka nagbablower, hindi ka nagalagay ng product. You could never achieve that haircut or the hairstyles without using those products or without doing those things. So, what's the point of getting a, the latest haircut pero it's not suitable for your lifestyle? A good haircut should last long. Kasi nga, pag proportion ng cut mo, pag tubo niya, proportion pa rin, so okay pa rin siya. Ano po kasi, di ba po may gel, may wax, and may pomade? Ano yeah. pong mas magandang gamitin sa hair? Sa hair mo? Okay. Gel is good if you want a strong hold. Um, pero be careful also when you're using hair product because some of the gel, marami siyang alcohol content. That's the ingredients na nagadry ng hair natin. So I would go for if you're not have if you don't have a heavy day, what you should use are wax or gum, especially with the weather sa Manila. Pag naman sumobra kang gamit ng sumobrang lagay mo ng gum, biglang babaksak sa sobrang init. So parang lahat lang mantika-mantika sa iyo. Actually, kung makakita ka pa nga ng marami naman diyan product na walang alcohol content or very light lang on not so heavy day. Balancing your cut is you start from the crown area. Always start on the crown area. So create your guideline from the crown to the next sections. Followed through your guideline. So now after drying, you must see the natural fall of your hair. Going to the side, I still see some disconnections from the last haircut. So I'm just connecting it from my guideline. So, like every time I hire a new hairstylist or barbers in my salon, 
they're not allowed to use um, clippers. My training is everybody has to cut with comb and scissors. Because not all the time nga available. Siya. If you get stranded in one area and all of a sudden you need to give a haircut to your talent or whatever, whoever. Now, can you see now na major rounded name buhok niya compared kanina? Kanina kasi disconnected. Um, yung puyun niya na So ngayon, it's more balanced. Mukha na siyang hindi flat dito. Ito yung flat part niya. So ngayon, meron na siyang elevations. A good haircut for guys at least should last a month. Four weeks to two, six weeks. I have a lot of clients. So I see them like after a month or after two months and they're still happy. So that's a good cut. I mean, some from my hair. Wow. Pag nagpapagupit ka, nagpapakita ka ng picture o maupo ka lang? Uh, nagpapakita ka ng picture. Kung ano yung gusto mong style. Okay. Have you ever think na yung cut na yun, hindi tayo pare-pareho ng tubo ng buhok eh. Iniisip mo ba yan bago ka magpakita ng buhok? Kung parehas yung kundiretsyo na yung buhok ng kinokopya mo. Okay. Importante yun eh. Like ako, dami nagkadala. Oh. Gusto ko ganitong cut, gusto ko ganitong parehong buhok ni Juday. I mean, hindi naman or ni Robin. Hindi naman lahat pare-pareho lang texture sa kanong mukha. <laughs> so, I would always go to the closest that I can do. Always consider when you're choosing your haircut. Pag meron kayong nakikita sa mga pictures or magazines or internet, kaya ba ng buhok nyo? Nice. Sabi, kinomplement ka sarili kong gumit. <laughs> nice. The cut and the style, it's so flexible for him since Val is do a lot of modeling and he still go to school. So I want to make sure that he can fix his hair, na he can always change his hairstyle with this cut. Important that you build a good relationship with your hairstylist or barbero. Kasi pag kilala ka ng nagugupit sa'yo, mas madali sa kanya maggumawa ng cut suitable for your lifestyle. Have a relationship with your cut. cut. Not relationship, relationship, okay? Don't get me wrong. Kasi pag inaway nyo sila, ikaw pa pangit nyo. Ikaw ba, gano'ng katagal, katagal na nagpupunta sa nagkakat sa'yo? O iba-iba ka, iba-iba. Depende ka kung saan kaabutan. Pag hindi ka consistent sa nagugupit sa'yo. Siyempre, yung, yung nagkat sa'yo ngayon, pag lumipat ka sa iba, iba na yung technique niya, iba yung, iba yung style niya. So, here's the finished cut. As you can see, it's more proportion already compared to how it looks earlier. You see his before and his hair problem. So, hopefully, I was able to answer all his problems. Did I answer all your problems, Val? So, um, I'll see you guys on the next episode and I'll teach you how to style his hair. So, let's say Val is going to an event, like a more dressy event. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.